Okay, welcome to the spoiler <laughs> section. We're just gonna throw this here in the in the same video. Not real. Well, maybe we'll break it off actually, depending on how long we talk about it, because there's lots of little elements that we can throw in here. So I'll run right straight to Dell, who was saying yep. uh, that you found you thought that there were other ways that they could have introduced the magic uh, rivals. So. In there. Like, the entire thing, I like this probably ties into what Joe was saying, since we were right at the end talking about scores anyway. My biggest complaint about the bad guy is, like Other Joe said, he was just like, you know, you have secrets, we can get immortality. The dude in the library straight up said, all knowledge is open to everyone here. Mm -hmm. And the dude could have literally just stayed in the thing and learned how to do it by himself, <laughs> not have to go crazy or anything, because yeah. he straight up was like, you could just read these fucking books. And he was like, no, I got to rip it out and murder someone and everything. Well, I was no, like, it's, that it's, was the first thing. It's because he didn't want to just save himself. He didn't want immortality for himself. So he wanted, he wanted it for, it for the Earth. whole world. Yeah, and but he, he was wanted to pull Earth like into the dark dimension. Like he was a good guy. Yeah, yeah he still That's, didn't have to go like super anarchic. Yes, he did. But the other yeah. thing, the other <laughs> the thing the entire is Dormammu. He was crying because he thought he was fighting for what he believed in. I thought he was just like, could have been better if Dormammu had like possessed him. <laughs> And then he could have fought See, the comic yeah. book Dormammu if he would have just taken over the dude somehow, block him good. off, and Dormammu has to possess the fucking guy to like fight Strange to open the gate or something. I think I I, I think I like him like Beard. I like him yeah. to stay his own thing because you want audiences to know that there is vast knowledge and some of the knowledge is forbidden and some of the knowledge has the capability to twist people's minds into thinking in a different angle that, that may be detriment to them rather than helping even though they think they're helping. So turning him into a puppet people would have just been like ah oh, he's a puppet he's not really even a villain on his yeah. own. Uh, uh, maybe they could have thrown in some flashback scenes where you know they mentioned his backstory like he lost family or he lost some yeah, people close to him maybe yeah. he sees that and you know he's, he's like crying he's like, ah, you know something like that and you, you can motivate you can uh, understand his motivations and mm -hmm. when the two clash you're like oh shit here we go you know and that's what Joe was saying a little Joe gave it an 8 out of 10 because he's a little disappointed with the climax the battle now visually I guarantee cool. you we're not disappointed no, well, and shit was going yeah, in too. reverse while they were going forward and fighting. Yeah. I mean, that was, was shit awesome. was so cool. Like, Joe pointed out how many visual yeah. effects artists yeah. there were at, the, yeah. at the end. 50, and I can see band why. Band. There wasn't really a lot they of They really fighting, use though. CGI to its maximum effect. Yeah. You know, well, you're, I understand what yeah. you're saying. There's the It's not raw brawlers, but this is not, you know, the Captain America. And well, the fucking cape had more action. I like, I like the yeah. cape, too. The cape had more action than Doctor Strange. Yeah, but Doctor, Doctor Strange This is a himself. rookie is Doctor Strange. Right. He, use, he uses magic. Exactly. He's not meant to go he he's not a brawler, well, and these guys saw, want him to be Captain America with dude. magic. No, the first time he That's punches a dude, he anyways. <laughs> anyways, so the so Joe wants to see uh, the fucking uh, the crying <laughs> guy come in. Joe loves Harry Potter so much he wants to see fucking magic go back yes. and forth between the two. Oh, yeah. That's Instead, what I I'm sorry, <laughs> I, I don't. I don't know Doctor Strange. So that's what I was expecting. Like mm -hmm. fucking magic coming Listen, out of his what... ass and fucking doing something. <laughs> yeah, just trying yeah. to get a fucking unicorn. When, I, when they mentioned Dormammu, I was like, we're gonna have some Marvel versus fucking Capcom up in here. Dormammu's gonna be shooting fire at Strange. He's gonna be throwing time lasers and shit. But you kind so of did. what actually ends up happening <laughs> is the uh, the main villain and his two lackeys disintegrate as they're attacking, and it's because. Uh, Doctor Strange realizes uh, from what the villain says, you know, uh, that the time is meaningless or time, time you know, doesn't exist, time doesn't in the exist universe, anymore yeah, and now universe. everlasting life. And Doctor Strange goes, time. And he realizes that he has his own relic, which turns to his own relic where he could control time. So he goes out and, and faces Dormammu and basically... A, a fantastic scene where Dormammu is like... It's... Always what I wanted in a film. Yeah. The villain to like not even really give a shit. The hero shows up and he's like, you came here to die. Bam! You know, or and like it disintegrates and, and Doctor Strange like dies. And you're like, what the fuck? What an idiot. Yeah, what a moron. Died, yeah. and, and, but it turns out that, you know, he had previously manipulated time and put them a little loop so that, that it will rewind and happen over and over and over. So and brought, so this God is trying to kill him over and right over. Not trying. He's killing he's him. He's killing him over and over. And, over. and, over. and yeah. he is suffering pain. And Doctor Strange is like, you know what? We can do this forever. I don't feel it. I just reset yeah. every time. I'm yeah. going to reset. Well, no, he feels it. That's what I think that's what they were trying to yeah. imply. 
apply mm. is that I'll take the pain and the entire and the universe is safe and you and me will be locked in here forever. And and so he's like staring him down chicken style and so Dormammu's like, okay, you know, let's get out of here, you know. Yeah, and so much. he makes this bargain with him to just get rid of your lackeys and leave and never come back. Now he don't listen. make a deal with the devil because yeah. they're, they're yeah they'll leave but their he, he comes is back. coming back he's coming back. right yeah. but that's why it disappointed Joe because you got the the, the villain and his lackeys funny. disintegrating because they go up and and form into the dark form and become one or whatever with him and there was no Harry Potter wand battle in the fucking film but honestly yeah. I didn't need one I didn't need one there was a lot more close combat magic you know where they were yeah. using ba basic yeah. weapons when I expected there to be more ranged combat magic and 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 i understand that joe where they're fireballs fire, you know shit. fucking dragon ball z shit up in there <laughs> yeah. but but it was a lot more they do that a lot combat. in the comics mm -hmm. they do fight a lot like that in the comics okay. yeah so i was expecting that we didn't get that but you know what it didn't matter i thought it was clever i thought you know dr strange using his intelligence in order to disarm a god and and and, and outthink a god was fantastic and it yeah. sets up how maybe dr strange can then help thor because at the end of the film we get our first little stinger <laughs> And Thor is is in there, and he's like, "Have some tea." And Thor's like, "I don't drink tea," you know. And then he gives him a big ass <laughs> beer, just instantly converts. Thor it. knocks that shit down like in half a second, and he just refills it. It's fucking it's, awesome. It's worth mentioning though that you mentioned, you know, he can fight in the big leagues. Mm -hmm. In the comics, his power is so far above everyone else's that he's like literally to them, he's their ants because he can just unre like make them non-existent. If he not wants. only that, he's got the power of an infinity stone. He's like, yeah, in the comics, he's got he's, the time infinity. Like stone. the Avengers would be down here, he's like pff, up there, and mm. and power difference later on because he ends up going, you know. I control reality. If I don't want somebody to exist, he can just unexist them. Yeah, he's super, super powerful. Yep. But even he might have problems with a Thanos who has a full infinity gauntlet and that, that can cause problems. And they're setting that up. Yep. I don't know in the comics whether his amulet is an infinity stone, but in here, how they tie him with uh, the rest of the films is his amulet is powered by an yeah. infinity stone. Yep. And we all know what's going to happen. Thanos is going to manage to get that away and he's going to create the infinity gauntlet, which is going to create create massive problems uh, for everybody because he's going to be so powerful with six of those damn things versus Doctor Strange yeah. only has one or Vision only has one here. So I can't wait for that, man. This is like a decades in the making of yeah, this yeah. film with with Thanos. It and it be just fucking epic. Yeah. It has to All be. this time, it better be fucking epic. I, I want mean, everybody to die. Seven hours. I want everybody well, to die. I, mean, I, mean I, I have seven faith. Hours. I have faith. They've got a great track record so far. They do. Yeah. So I have faith. In Guardians the 2 is coming out next, isn't it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'm like excited for that. Uh, we Thor also know their Thor is also coming, yeah. Ragnarok, uh, and they they alluded to that in this film where it's going to be Thor and and I think Hulk is going to be in that one as well. How they how he factors into that story, I don't know, but um, man, I really really enjoy Doctor Strange. You guys go out and fucking see this film. Uh, yeah, the the maybe they could have done things differently with the villains, but when you consider how well crafted, how well paced, how visually impressive, how the great acting everything man go out and see it it's a fantastic addition and yeah anybody else anything else to add really it's worth mentioning that like you know how we're talking about how the infinity war is going to happen yeah in the comic books when they're doing the infinity war and thanos has the infinity gauntlet no joke thanos snaps his fingers and kills half the galaxy like yeah. That's literally all he does. They make a huge point. Well, he just snaps his finger, half the galaxy When you get all the Infinity Stones, you're basically yeah. God. The reason that Earth wasn't destroyed or like that part was because the they can warp reality like Doctor Strange and there's like three or four other like Omega Mutants or something that can help with that. They moved it out of reality or changed reality so Thanos' version didn't have control over that reality or something. Mm -hmm. So I fully expect for Doctor Strange and they're going to probably introduce like a few... They can't do Omega Mutants because they don't own the X-Men franchise. Yeah. Even though the mutants are like a huge huge part of the Marvel Such universe. Such a huge part. <laughs> Fucking Fox being it's dick. It's so dumb. And, and here's another point I wanted to make. You remind me. But but what was going to be your end point? There? They're going to have to figure out how to introduce a lot of the other like witches Elements and warlocks and stuff, because yeah. the only reason they were able to beat Thanos was because of the whole reality changing crap and like 
mm-hmm. you know, even the I forget the name of those celestials or wherever they are, like helping come They'll together definite, and fighting them. They yeah. will definitely have to come up with some creative yeah. things. I think remember they were gonna do Infinity Part One and Two. Yep. So yeah. I think in the first one he's maybe gonna you know get them all, and that shit is planned for like Part Two. You Probably know, that kind yeah. of stuff is planned for Part Two. I I want to see one of these Marvel films end fucking dark. And Marvel will be like, yep. <laughs> yes. yes. That's going to be in Walk out the theater crying, <laughs> motherfuckers. And, and that will leave an impression on children and young people, and they'll grow up. Man, man, you remember that one time Marvel made that one film? You know, like that, like the cartoon Transformers when Optimus Prime dies. Everybody remembers that yeah, moment. Oh my God, and yeah. they need to fucking kill everybody, leave it dark, and, and then, just and then it. maybe a small hope. But I'm talking like even less than what they did with Superman in Batman vs Superman. Even less than that. Just end it there, and you, people you are shocked. Up. Like what Marvel the just fuck? killed their whole they universe, can... billions of dollars in play here and they just said, nope, everybody's dead. Just wipe it out. <laughs> they could do just, something cool. You just opened up old wounds. Forever Optimus, <laughs> Optimus Prime. Prime. Right. I'll remember you forever, Optimus. <laughs> they could do something cool where they like have everyone die and then the world exploded and just end the movie in the beginning of the next movie have like Doctor Strange's voice mm-hmm. and then like open up a portal reality or something into nothingness and then just like rewind time or do something and then just like go from yeah. there with cuz he was they were even alluding to like alternate timeline branches by dicking with time yeah. and I wouldn't doubt that they, they yeah. end up doing that like yeah. they kill the universe and then just go to another reality exactly and and it just Marvel is doing a fantastic job they're making DC look like fucking kitty hour and and uh, embarrassing. I can only hope that DC, when eventually they introduce Justice League Dark and they start putting in yeah. their own magical elements, that it is at this level and and it's going to be this cool. I you know my faith is shaken. Marvel is doing great here so far. I hope they continue this trend. I think DC at this point needs to go into more of the darker and horror level of the universe. It's, no, they're all, that's where they're at right now. I mean, I mean, like working. they could they could do some really messed up stuff and they could focus around that. And it would be different than Marvel, but they need to find something. What huge. I'm liking about Marvel is that it's faithful adaptions, yeah. and we see that here in in Doctor Strange. And there's fun in it, there's humor, but there's stakes and there's darkness yeah. as well. It's got everything. And right now, DC is just playing with dark, is playing with Elseworlds, is playing with alternate <laughs> yeah. realities, and it just doesn't feel like the comics and the nostalgic feelings that you grew up with. You know, it's it's just it, it's floundering. Hopefully, it's getting better, but we'll see. Uh, but yeah, they're excellent casting, movie. They're casting is they're casting. They're casting is yeah. off as well. Yeah. Oh, the bat flick was good. <laughs> <laughs> there's so. there's a few gems in there, but all right, guys, we'll see you on the next Angry Joe show. Bye, guys. See you guys. Go see it. Definitely.